Hi, my name is Chef Paul Marshall, and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to share some tips and tricks for authentic wok cooking on your Blue Star range. Integrated wok cooking allows you to cook without a wok ring. You simply remove the top grate and you're able to place your wok directly into the flame. This stabilizes the wok and more importantly creates better results. Picking the right size wok is also important. You want a wok that's no larger than 16 inches, otherwise it can be hard to maneuver and gets heavy. Also, your Blue Star is putting out 22,000 BTUs of heat, so you need to make sure your wok is made of iron or steel so it can handle the high heat. The nice thing about the high BTUs is that you can use the Blue Star stove to also season your wok as well, and I recommend you season it with salt and oil for the first use. I always tell people to get all your mise en place and all your prep work done before you start cooking. Wok cooking happens really fast, so you want to make sure everything is done because you don't have time to cut additional ingredients. Always preheat your wok before you use it. Add oil and wait until it begins to smoke. This will open the pores of the metal, releasing the flavor stored in the wok. Remember, for wok cooking, it's best to use oils with a high smoke point. I like to use grapeseed oil or peanut oil. Olive or vegetable oil has a much lower smoke point and could burn the food and impact the flavor. Wok cooking gets really smoky, so proper ventilation is a must. My prizer hood is perfect for clearing smoke. The key to wok cooking is direct contact between the bottom of the wok and the flame. Like the Blue Star 22,000 BTU burners, this will allow you to stir fry meat and vegetables very quickly to produce a crisp, fresh flavor. Never overfill your wok past the halfway mark. You need room for displacement of food, and it also allows your ingredients to cook quickly and evenly. There's a couple of options for the wok utensils. I like to use a metal wok ladle, but you can use any type of metal spoon or spatula. You'll notice in wok cooking that chefs are always keeping the food moving. This is important to finish because by stirring and moving the ingredients, you allow the reduction in the sauce to adhere to the protein and the food won't get overcooked. Continuously move your wok or use utensils to move the ingredients. Clean your wok immediately after use with hot water and a sponge. This will protect the patina and preserve the seasoning of the wok. 